Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Although I probably should not be saying good morning because it's definitely, definitely not the morning anymore. I've been having one of those days where it has just completely run away with me. I went to the gym this morning and then came back, showered, washed my hair um, and then I had some meetings that I needed to jump on, had some emails I needed to do and before I knew it it was like, it's literally quarter to one now and I actually have an appointment at one o'clock so today's video is going to be the start of the holiday prep I'm very very excited to be going away can you tell I literally have not shut up about Ibiza for the past week or so um but I'm really really excited to be going away so today I need to go and get my nails sorted I've been clinging onto these nails for as long as possible they are looking absolutely horrendous I'm not gonna lie to you like they have gone so bad hang on see if I can get it to focus they look absolutely awful this one's chipped this one's chipped and i don't know if you can see at the end but they've started to get a little bit fake tan stained um and they're obviously a little bit overgrown um but i've been literally clinging on to them for as long as possible because i don't know about you but whenever it comes to like holiday nails i try and get them done as close to like as i'm going as possible because i hate it when my nails get all like overgrown and gross and i feel like i'd rather have them overgrown and gross here at home rather than like when i'm away you'll also notice i don't actually have any rings on today i don't know why just wasn't feeling any jewelry on my hands today i just have my apple watch and my pandora bracelet sometimes we're just having one of those days i do also worry if i always wear my jewelry when i go and get my shellac will that affect the metal at all does anyone know because obviously you're getting the um the lvl LVL? Not LVL. The UV light um, with your hands. So one thing I actually have been doing recently before I go to the nail salon is I actually put some SPF on my hands because I've heard that UV light can actually age your hands. And I've been loving the Emma Hardy Protect and Prime SPF 30. And I just put a bit of that on the back of my hands, which is probably the most extra thing in the world. But I would much rather that and have lovely young hands for a very, very long time. Um... I know that I really don't have to think about like aging at the moment, obviously being in my mid twenties, but I am very aware that prevention is so much easier than like reversing the signs of aging. So I'd much rather focus on it now, wear my SPF now, use my anti-aging products now, and then hopefully it will mean that by the time I'm 50, I still look 35. And I will be a very happy bunny, but I need to go and get these nails done, get these taken off, get some brand new beautiful shellac put on, ready for the holiday. So I'm going to get going, get to the nail salon, and I'll show you what colour I go for. It's going to be nude, let's be honest. <laughs> getting my nails done i went for of course a little nudie nude i really like this actually it's a bit more of like a pinky nude it's a really nice one i completely forgot to take down the name of what the um nail color was and we had to do three coats for it. it was a really really lovely one it's like a shellac one but i cannot for the life of me remember the color i'm so sorry but i love how they look they're really nice and short again i always love short nails i know that a lot of girls like it's more popular to go for longer nails but I'm a short girl, nail through and through, but oh my god, I don't know if you can see it by my eyes. I am so tired now after my nail appointment. Does anyone else get really sleepy when they get their nails done? I feel like I just get really, like, I'm literally sitting there like, I could fall asleep right now. I find it really relaxing, really therapeutic just to go and get my nails done. I usually put my nails in the afternoon because I'm like, I don't want to get tired first thing in the morning. <laughs> so I usually try and book it in for the afternoon, but I think I'm going to make myself another coffee because I really need to wake up right now. I've got lots more emails, lots more admin to do. I've got one more meeting for the day and then I can clock off for the night. Um, so I'm going to make myself a coffee, crack on with the rest of the day and I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Good morning 
morning everyone it is the next day now i am absolutely loving my new nails but i am feeling quite natural today gone for a very very natural makeup look because today is basically an errand day i've got lots of things to do you might be able to see behind me i've already started planning and sorting out my outfit for ibiza i've just been kind of like pulling a few things out making some lists of what i want to wear what i want to bring with me i'm really really excited and today i'm really excited because i'm actually going to go get my hair done it's just going to be a cut nothing major it doesn't really need a color or anything that's always my favorite thing about the color that i go for with my hair it needs very little maintenance alex always says he would absolutely love it if i went full-on blonde because he loved it when i used to be a lot blonder but i just the maintenance i cannot deal with i feel like a lot of us have kind of changed ever since covid and our kind of like beauty maintenance has really dropped down because when we were stuck in lockdown and couldn't get our hair done for like six months it was a struggle and i'm really loving it a bit more of my natural color so i don't have to get it colored as much but i am going to get a little bit of a trim i wasn't actually due a trim until after i was back but i've been kind of like looking at photos looking in the mirror thinking you know what i think it just needs a couple of inches off so it's really nice and refreshed ready for ibiza so i'm really excited about that and i had I've had such an exciting morning and this I think is really going to show my age. I'm actually not checking in with you guys. It's about one o'clock now and the reason being is because this morning was taken up by a cleaner. Oh my word, I now have a cleaner for our house. This was like the preliminary clean that she was doing, like the initial one, just to kind of like get a feel, so how long it takes, like price it up, things like that. And my house, I am gonna need to take you downstairs because my house is spotless right now. I mean, look at this. Honestly, guys, this is like absolutely spotless. I feel like I could eat my dinner off my floor. They even like plumped up the cushions, which is so cute. Like that's so not how I style it, but I just love that they've done that to like make such an effort. And it has just been, oh my goodness, scrubbed to within an inch of its life. I've still got my birthday peonies just about hanging in there. Um, but look at how clean and tidy the kitchen is. Oh my goodness. I'm sure you guys know I am quite a neat freak. Like I really love a place to be clean and tidy, but having a much bigger, I don't wanna say property because we don't own this, but obviously having a much bigger home, it is requiring a lot more maintenance. And it's something that I have been wanting for so long. And I feel like I've reached a point in life where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself and have a cleaner. And I'm literally so happy right now. I can actually cry. It is so nice to have such a lovely and clean house. And the ladies were just absolutely Absolutely lovely so I'm really excited that they're going to be coming back every couple of weeks to just kind of like give a really deep clean and make sure that the place is as clean and tidy as I always want to keep it and it also means that there are a lot less arguments because you've probably noticed that I do a lot more housework around here and it's just something that's kind of like I feel like it's fallen quite naturally within our relationship because I'm at home a lot more I care about it a lot more but obviously it can be a bit difficult when you and your partner you're trying to like match your kind of like standards and one person's standards may be a bit different than the other so I've kind of just been like you know what let's just get a cleaner in <laughs> save the arguments save me having to tell him when he needs to go and do the toilets um and it's gonna be such a lovely treat like this really does show my age i feel like you really are starting to get a lot older when the things that you want to spend your money on and are excited to spend your money on is a cleaner for your home but i'm so happy right now the kitchen is looking so spotless Honestly, I could cry. This is probably also gonna sound so silly, but also the marks on the carpet make me really happy because I feel like that shows that it's been cleaned. I love seeing that. I really love seeing that. <laughs> I feel like it's also so nice to have it done like just before we go we're going in a couple of days and I don't feel like the house is going to get too messy or dirty like before we go so when we come back it's still going to be really nice and clean and oh, it just makes me so happy but I just wanted to show you guys I had a new little PR delivery of a few items that I was not expecting which was a very lovely surprise um, from Biore which is a brand that I used to absolutely love and have not used anything from them in a really really long time so I'm really excited about these first of all we've got the Biore free your pores with witch hazel ultra deep cleansing pore strips now I don't actually have the biggest pores so I might give this to my brother because he loves these kinds of pore strips one thing I am definitely noticing though is I am having a bit of a continuous breakout. I feel like I was really cocky at first. 
I didn't seem to get too much of a breakout from like eating badly my birthday weekend and then it kind of came a bit more delayed and now it's still kind of there and I'm definitely noticing like around my chin a lot of breakouts so I really want to just kind of like blitz that and make sure that they are all gone before we go away because I do not want to have bad skin when we're on Ibiza because I don't want to be wearing a lot of makeup I don't want to be wearing anything like too heavy or anything like that um so this might be a really good one this is a clear and bright jelly cleanser which I have never really used a jelly cleanser I'm not gonna lie I normally go for more kind of like um balmy cleansers like really greasy cleansers are always my favorite but this might be a really nice one to take with me for something a bit lighter whilst we're wearing especially if I'm gonna be wearing like a bit lighter makeup this is this gives you brighter skin in one week with yuzu lemon and ginseng banishes a poor build up to improve tone and texture this might be a really good one to use actually if i am having quite a few breakouts i might take this one with me it's like a good size as well it's a good travel size i don't think it's under 100 milliliters but obviously i'd put it in my oh it's 110 close why would they not just make it 100 but it's going to go in my hold luggage anyway so it's not too much of a big deal and then lastly oh we've got a mask i might use this tonight you know because i feel like i do really need to give myself a bit of like a refresh and like a real deep masking cleanse so this is a yuzu lemon and papaya clear and bright aha clay mask i definitely think i'm going to use that tonight and see if that really helps with regards to like my breakouts because i just want to blitz them so those are some really lovely products from yore really excited to give those a try and take this one with me to ibiza i really need to start like putting together a bit of like a skincare makeup kind of bag ready for when I go because I don't want to take too much with me I don't want to be the kind of person that you know has a suitcase full of skincare that she literally uses like a moisturizer and an eye cream while she's out there so I want to start getting that ready and as you've seen I've been starting to plan outfits but I need to go and get myself ready for the hairdressers now really excited for a little trim to get my hair back to like a nice bobby length all refreshed and like rejuvenated ready for the trip I feel like there's nothing better than like a fresh haircut just before you go away. <laughs> I will show you properly tomorrow but my goodness would you look at that volume I absolutely love it we actually went for a little bit more feathering around the front than we normally go for because I've been doing this more kind of like blow dried look and I love how it has turned out and I always feel like every time I get my hair cut I don't know how Matthew does it but it literally looks like I've had my hair coloured again I don't know if you can see it but it always just looks so nice and light and fresh and blonde just look at that about I'm so happy right heading home now good morning everyone it is the next morning now I've just got myself up dressed and ready and I just wanted to quickly show you my hair because I feel like I wasn't able to give you like a proper a proper little show of my haircut in the car but just we just did a little bit of a trim and what we actually decided to do is a bit more layering around the front um I've always gone for quite a block cut with regards to like my bob star but we decided to do a bit more layering just like around this front area um just because I feel like it looks a little bit softer especially when I'm doing this more kind of like blow-dried look um but I actually used something different this morning that I wanted to show you because I was chatting to Matthew my hairdresser um about the Szechuan mousse I know we've spoken about this a lot the kind of like volumizing mousse and I've been really struggling with it a few of you have given me like some tips a few of you have kind of given some suggestions but I just don't really feel like it's really doing anything I feel like it actually makes my hair just look a little bit greasy on top and he suggested so I literally picked it up straight away because Matthew always suggests like the best things um the L'Oreal Professional Super Dust now this basically feels like talcum powder and it's this tiny little like really fine dust that you basically like like literally like a salt shaker tap at the top of your head and then you kind of just like zhuzh it into the roots it's kind of feels like a bit like dry shampoo in how it kind of feels in your hair like it doesn't feel um it's not as kind of like powdery as dry shampoo but it does just kind of gives like a little bit of a zhuzh and I feel like it is doing something I do quite like how 
it's kind of given some volume. He's also suggested just running it through the ends of my hair so that the bob has like a lot of volume as well. And I feel like I am noticing a difference. I don't know if you'll be able to notice as much as a difference, but I really like it first use. And I don't, I don't, well, I think it's clear to see I did not like the, um, Session one the first time that I used that so I will link this down below for you guys because if you're looking for something to give yourself a little bit more volume throughout your hair this might be a really good option if you don't like mousses as well um but yeah I'm really happy with how it's looked and I'm so happy with the haircut as well I feel like I'm really refreshed revitalized and ready for Ibiza so I don't know if you can see behind me but I do actually have my rail of clothes ready to take with me to Ibiza because today is packing day and I kind of love packing but also kind of hate it because it's just so stressful but I do love planning and prepping all of the outfits so that is always like the fun thing and if you've been watching my latest videos you'll know that I've been like adding a few new pieces in I've got lots of things I'm going to be taking with me but I've also been going through my drawers of like some older items I know that we spoke about this and a lot of you guys gave me the okay that I can wear some older pieces whilst I'm out there it's always such a difficult like line to kind of walk where I want to be showing you pieces that you can shop I want to be showing you new and items because I know that's a big part of my job but at the same time I've got so many cute pieces in my wardrobe that are like older items that you might not necessarily be able to shop that exact item but I can always try and find you similar I can try and give you like a bit of inspiration so that even if you can't shop that item maybe you have something in your wardrobe that you have similar to that so that's what I'm going to be doing on this holiday I also need to put together like my makeup my skincare because I feel like I'm so rusty when it comes to like holiday packing and like travel packing I remember when we went to when we went skiing actually when we went to Switzerland I overpacked so much skincare and makeup that I literally barely touched and I brought things with me that I definitely should not have brought. Like, I brought retinol on a ski holiday. When will I ever use retinol on a ski holiday? Like just silly things like that. So I want to really make sure that I've kind of like curated and got like a really good holiday suitcase ready because we are flying with a jet too, which I'm very excited about. We do have 23 kilograms of luggage, which is amazing and I'm definitely gonna fill to the brim at that 23 kilograms. And we've also got like a little, you know, um, cabin bag that we can take in with us as well. So we're gonna have loads and loads of room for all of our stuff. But I do want to try and make sure that with regards to like skincare and makeup, I'm a little bit more stripped back because I know I'm gonna be overpacking with outfits, but I am shooting out there. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing way more outfits than one would need on like a four day holiday, but. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big part of my job so um yeah i'm gonna be planning prepping and packing up my bag for ibiza and i thought we could do it together so got the rail ready over here with loads of gorgeous outfits a few of which as i said you would have already seen like my gorgeous phase eight dresses i've got here and here and i've got like the phase eight linen shirt um this gorgeous shirt from la bella queen which i really love um there's a few things you won't have seen so i might do a little bit of a try on of a few outfits you might not have seen already maybe some of my kind of like older pieces that i'm going to be taking with me such a cute little holiday outfit again both old pieces but i think caramilla might still have the shorts online i will see if i can link them down below but i picked these up back in like april and i thought they were really really cute little shorts and i really love how i've styled them up with this little knitted crop top i actually found this in my old holiday box this is like an old princess polly little crop top but like a lot of brands do similar to this so i'm sure i can find something similar to link down below for you guys but this is just such like exploring the old town like going on walks going on hikes kind of a holiday outfit and i thought this was a really really cute one to bring and this is actually another old princess poly top but i found this in storage i think i must have bought these about this time last year but i've just started up with the gorgeous h&m skirt and this to me i think is such an ibiza outfit paired with like my tan bowden slides i think will be absolutely gorgeous a little basket bag and a little a straw hat like this to me is just such an ibiza outfit and i love the fact that the whites actually match it's very rare that i find that i'm sure i can probably find a similar top to this online because a lot of brands do similar kind of like corset style square neckline at tops but i really really love this as an outfit i think this is a really really cute one okay so ignore the necklace but this is actually the nasty gal bikini that i wasn't quite brave enough to show you in the last video but here we are i'm showing you now I feel like I'm very, very pale. I definitely need to do a full scrub of my fake tan and just kind of start again. So I feel like my tummy's quite pale, but like my arms are quite tanned. And I think I just need to start from scratch. But I kind of wanted to show you this as an outfit because I kind of really love it. It's 
definitely out of my comfort zone. It's definitely a bit different for me, but I'm kind of vibing it. And I feel like this is proof that us mid-sized gals can still rock a bikini when we're on holiday. If you are wanting to wear a two-piece, I know I've shown you a lot of one-pieces that are new in my wardrobe, but if you are really adamant that you want to wear a two-piece and that you feel better in a two-piece, but you still want to be really comfortable, I would just say opt for a high-waisted one. I've got a pair of high-waisted bikini bottoms that I'm going to wear with this. Um, and then when it's like an outfit, I can just wear it like this and it looks really cool because you've got like the shirt thrown over the top and if I get a little bit conscious I can just kind of pull it around a little bit more um but I really really love this bikini it's like this really cool one shoulder detail these are everywhere this year I've definitely noticed they're a big trend and I think they are so so cool what I really like about this one is it's got an underwire so I feel very supported but I really like it paired with the police trousers and the shirt police sets are such a huge trend as well for summer and I really really like this this is like so out of my comfort zone but I really, really like how it looks. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be one that I'm gonna be wearing whilst away and I'm very excited to wear this actually. Quite excited to be going out of my comfort zone. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> this is a dress that I want to take with me, but I know, I just know I'm gonna get so much hate for wearing it because everyone wants to shop this dress now this is actually from misguided and i only bought it back in april and i don't know why but it just disappeared off the website and it's really annoying because i can literally see it in my like orders you know like you're recently ordered it comes up it won't let me click on it and as soon as i type in the product code it won't show up as soon as i type in the like name of the item it won't show up so <laughs> it's one that you can't shop and as soon as I post this on my Instagram I had hundreds of DMs asking where this is from if I, you could have the link like if you could shop it and I'm so gutted that it's just disappeared off the website so I'll try again see if I can do anything see if I can find something similar but this dress I just can't not bring because it is stunning I think this is going to be my like evening dress first of all it's got this really cute little cutout side detail here. And I really love these cutout details because I find them very flattering. Like if you look at my silhouette, it makes my, my waist look so, so tiny. And it really skims beautifully over my waist. And my other favourite thing about this dress is this leg slit now i feel like there's not many places you can get away with wearing a leg slit this high but holiday is definitely one of them as long as you've got like some nice black underwear underneath so that you definitely can't see your pants but my goodness this is such a beautiful dress just paired with maybe some like black espadrilles little black sandals i think will look really really cute and it really is a stunning evening dress so I'm so conflicted like I do definitely want to bring it and that's one of the hardest things about my job is it if it was just a holiday that I was going on obviously I wouldn't care that you can't shop it and I wouldn't care because it makes me feel beautiful I love how it looks you know like I wouldn't have to think about other people being able to shop it but obviously the whole point of my job the whole point of a work trip is being able to show you outfits that you can shop so I'm really, really conflicted, but I definitely think I'm going to bring it with me because where else can you wear a leg slit this high and get away with it? Oh my goodness, I'm so, so in love with this dress. It's just one of the most flattering dresses I have ever, ever owned. So I'm going to do everything I can to see if I can try and find this exact one or something similar for you guys because it is so beautiful. We're going to be taking my gorgeous Aaliyah dress which I absolutely love. As soon as I got this, I just knew this was like a holiday dress. I'm totally picturing this just like on the beach. I think it'll be so pretty. I feel like it actually looks better without shoes on, <laughs> which I really, really love it. This is such a beautiful holiday dress and this is from a gorgeous petite brand. It's called the Aaliyah dress and it's just stunning. You would have seen this in a haul quite a while ago now when we first moved into this house, um, but I absolutely adore it. I think this is going to be such a gorgeous one to wear in Ibiza. With regards to my airport travel outfit, I've kind of got two ideas in mind of what to wear. So number one is this one, and this is basically just like a really casual comfy easy to wear dress this is from river island a little while ago i'll see if it's still online but it's basically just a ribbed mini body dress, and i love body dresses because they're just super comfortable they're really easy we are actually having a bit of a heat wave here in the uk which is so typical just before we're about to leave we're saying oh we need some sun so we're going to get away to get some sun we have sun here in the UK, but I'm not complaining because we're going to Ibiza. Um, but what's quite nice about having a heat wave before you go is that you can kind of wear an outfit that's appropriate both in the UK and whilst you're abroad. There's nothing worse than when you have to wear like 
big jumper and you know really cold weather outfits and then going somewhere really hot and you have to like strip at the airport um on the other end so this is quite a nice one i've got the phase eight shirt over the top which i really really like i have a feeling you're gonna see this a lot whilst i'm awake it's such a perfect like cover up it's such a perfect throw over i really love the length of it so this could be quite cute i'm gonna wear trainers because i always get cold feet on a plane so i hate wearing like slides or sandals i don't know how people do it so just with a pair of like casual vasures or something like that um, so this is outfit option number one and then this is option number two my gorgeous Bowden dress I think I'm kind of swaying towards this one just because obviously because it is a midi it's a little bit more covered like I don't have to worry about like bending over and flashing anyone or anything like that you know or something like wheeling all my luggage around if I drop anything again I'll just wear with a pair of like maybe white vasures or something like that maybe my white YSL trainers might be cute because they're ones that I could easily throw on whilst we're over there um but what I could do to be fair actually is bring both of them wear this one on the way out and then wear the other one on the way back that's definitely an option as i said we've got a lot of luggage space so i don't have to worry about you know <laughs> like not having enough room for two different travel outfits but i really really like this dress i think it's nice it's quite lightweight we're also going to be arriving quite late into the evening i don't think it's gonna i don't think we're arriving before about six seven o'clock so we're probably just going to want to like arrive at the hotel have some dinner maybe just go straight to bed um it's going to be a long day of traveling to get there um so this might be just a good option because it's like you know fairly smart but comfortable so that when we arrive we can just go straight for dinner so i think i'm swaying towards this one to wear on the way out and then i could wear the black bodycon with the overshirt on the way home so um yeah i think this is a really nice travel outfit i know so many people always opt for like trousers when it comes to traveling but i think like a nice midi dress is actually really easy to wear super comfortable like gonna be nice and breezy um as you're walking around the airport but you're still gonna be nice and comfortable when you're on the plane yeah i think this is gonna be my travel outfit so i've just been packing up my kind of um essentials skincare body care things like that that i need and i must admit i do love the drunk elephant um makeup bag because it is just huge this is one that i got back in maybe january time um and it fits everything so i don't even think i'll need to bring my like fake tan bag with me because i think i can fit it all in here but i thought i would go through what i'm going to be taking with me in terms of like skincare body care all of that jazz as you can see i've got lots of products out in front of me so i'm going to start with skincare so of course i think i'm going to need to open a new one because i don't know if that's going to last me a week um but of course eye cream i'm going to be taking the clinique moisture surge 96 hour hydrophilla concentrate because this is literally the only eye cream i use it is my favorite thing in the world um now with moisturizers i'm going to be taking two with me but i'm undecided between these two so for day i'm just going to take the avene hydrants aqua gel it's just a really nice one it's very like gel like in terms of the formula which means it's just really like moisturizing and lightweight perfect when your skin just needs a good old drink and i'm really undecided about my kind of like nighttime moisturizer because i do find that when i'm away on holiday i need something a bit more intense at night and i'm undecided whether to go for the Givenchy hydrating mask this is a brightening fresh moisture mask but it's one that you can wear like at night um and you can just you know leave on or taking my la moisturizing cream i think i might take the la mer because it's just as like moisturizing thing but it's not actually a mask so i think it might be better for like evening skincare i think i'll take that with me now with regards to my hyaluronic acid i really want to take this with me but it leaks and I've thrown away the lid that it doesn't leak with, which is just so annoying that they've done that. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this with me. So that's gonna to have to stay. So instead, I'm just gonna be taking my Avene Radiance Serum, which is like a really easy one, just really lightweight, a nice one, just adding a little bit of glow. And then for my nighttime serum, I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which is a really lovely one. It's one that I got for my birthday. Um, so that's it in terms of skincare. I'm also gonna be taking the Emma Hardy Protecting Prime SPF 30. Now I i'm taking spf 50 as well um but this is just a nice one for like a face spf and then alex can use that as well because he doesn't really go above spf 30 he has got great skin in terms of tanning i'm very jealous um and then in terms of what is in the drunk elephant makeup bag we have got a hairbrush i always use this like portable tangle teaser one it's a really really cute one and it's great because it means that it's very compact I am going to be taking my Lancome Paris by Facial. This is basically a eye makeup remover because I'm going to be taking some waterproof mascara with me. So I want to make sure that I can get that off. And then in terms of my like cleanser that I'm going to be using, I'm taking actually the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. I've had really good things about this. It's quite a like 
I don't want to say intense one, but it's basically really good at just like really getting in there and getting out all the grime. Because especially if you're wearing like really heavy sun cream throughout the day and like you're going to be sweating a lot. I want something that's really going to help like take my makeup off. I'm debating whether to bring a, a um, exfoliator with me. Would that be a bit much whilst I'm away? Potentially. Um, so I'm taking that with me. I'm also going to be taking two moisturizers. One which is obviously like my daily moisturizer. This is the Aveeno. If you fake tan, this is the best moisturizer to use. I don't know if anyone else finds this, but I find if I use fake tans, I've got lots of like perfumes and like nice scents in it. Sometimes because of the oils that they put in the moisturizer, it doesn't make my fake tan last as long and it can sometimes like move the tan around. This is literally just the Aveeno um, clinically proven to moisturize for 24 hours, daily moisturizing body lotion. It's unscented. It's great for like eczema and stuff. I actually discovered this because this is the one that Alex uses because he has eczema on his skin. And I stole it off him a couple of times and I was like, oh my god, this makes my fake tan last so much longer than any other moisturiser I've used. So this is the one that I always use. It's a very big bottle, but I'll be taking this for both of us. So it will last us both at the week. And then I'm also going to be taking my Lano All Over Everywhere Multi Crew. Now this is going to be my beach cream basically i don't know if anyone else finds this but chlorine and salt water oh my god they do not react well with my skin if i go into the sea and then come straight back out don't wash it off and just like lie on the beach for the rest of the day i will come out in such a bad rash same with chlorine actually so every time that i dip in and out of water when i'm on holiday i'll always wash it off afterwards if i'm just going to be like laying on a sun lounger for the rest of the day or, like going out and exploring um and then i usually need a moisturizer after that so i love this one it's just the lano everywhere multi cream it's such a great one as like a little handbag moisturizer and then in terms of fake tan i'm going to be taking my aqua tanning mousse from revolution which is in the medium i don't want anything like too you know too dark because it just doesn't really scoop my skin tone it's really funny actually i feel like i'm one of the few people that gets more pale as the week goes on when i'm on holiday um so i always bring up my fake tan with me as well because i will top that up maybe once maybe even twice whilst we're away to make sure that my tan is nice and glowing then i'm also going to bring the saint self tan purity vitamin glow boosting vitamin c bronzing water serum that was a mouthful and a half so i can just use this on my face because obviously i don't get my face in the sun i don't tan my face at all i use like you know lots of skincare products you know retinols and things like that i keep my face under a hat for most of the day so this will just make sure that if i don't want to be putting makeup on my face will still be matching the rest of my body in terms of the colors so those are the two big tan products i'll be taking and of course my tanning mitt now for sun cream i'm going to take this with me for now but i also need to buy actually i don't have any left because i forgot to pick some up so i think i might have to buy some at the airport but it's my favorite one and i cannot remember for the life of me the brand that it is but i will leave it linked down below if you want to shop it and i will just say if you have sensitive skin if you get heat rash really badly if you find that your skin's often affected by like chlorine or salt water this is the best sun cream for you it's like a, a sun cream and it also stops heat rash because i get really bad heat rash if i spend all day in the sun when i'm away so i'm going to take that one with me as well like i'm going to go buy that i think at the airport i might be able to order it off amazon next day delivery just before we go um but i'm also going to take this is the bondi sands spf 50 with coconut beach water resistant so it's a really nice one so both me and alex can use that as well just like as a little top up one in between um i'm also going to be taking now this sounds really weird but i'm going to be taking some heel balm with me because when i'm walking around you know you've got flip-flops on all day i don't know about you but i find that my heels can get really like rough really dry really sore so i like to take a really nice moisturizing heel balm just to make sure that i'm kind of like you know my heels are like nice and <laughs> nourished by the end of the day i'm of course going to take my new um super dust techni art volumizing powder i'm also going to take the lano lips 101 ointment this is such a good one this is very similar to the elizabeth arden eight hour cream so if you like that you will also love this um and then lastly we have some bite and sting relief these are just relief patches. I'm not sure what the insects are going to be like in Ibiza, but this is, these are just like little patches you can put on if you get a mozzy bite and it just stops you from itching them. So that's everything that I have got in my big old drunk elephant <laughs> beauty bag. I'm going to pack up my makeup, I think, the morning of because obviously I'm still going to be wearing my makeup before I go and then I can do it that morning and then put it in my suitcase the day that we go. So this is everything all ready to go. Pack it all back up in the in the appropriate order and um yeah right it's quite a while later now i am basically getting ready to take my makeup off give my skin a good cleanse and jump in the shower and i'm basically 
finishing off the last of the holiday prep and doing a big old kind of like reset with regards to my fake tan so i'm going to be using this tonight i thought i would just talk it through because i always get questions about how i kind of like maintain my fake tan especially when i'm on holiday i always feel so much more confident with a fake tan on i have such pale skin naturally it's like really pinky in tone um it's actually quite funny even with a fake tan often people are like oh you've only just arrived when i've like been there for two weeks you know when you're on holiday and you're like no no just my natural skin color um so yeah i'm gonna do a big old reset because i feel like i am the kind of person that i kind of like just maintain my tan quite well so i fake tan usually two or three times a week um and i just do kind of a light surface level scrub with just like little you know scrubby mittens um and i find that that's kind of enough but it does get to a point sometimes where i just want to take it all off reset my skin and get to a point where i have not a drop of fake tan on me and then i can kind of start again and then it means that fake tan's really fresh really glowy and looking amazing so this is actually the Saint-Tropez tan remover it's a really really good one it's kind of something that not gonna lie I kind of thought was a bit of a um a gimmick when it first arrived I was like I don't really know if this is actually gonna help but basically what you do is you apply this so I actually have a tan mitt that I use just for this so I've got my fake tan mitt and then this is my like take off tan mitt um and you basically apply it with a tan mitt all over your tan as if you were applying fake tan you know like you apply it on your whole body and it kind of is like a bit moussey it almost feels like you're putting fake tan on and it soaks in leave that on your skin for usually maybe like three to five minutes so basically what i do is i you know strip naked i completely scrub myself down with this and then i usually get myself ready for the shower so just like you know wander around the top of the house buck naked and you know sorting a few things out before i get into the shower i then turn the shower on wait for it to the water to like heat up and by that point it's usually been like a few minutes um so i will get myself in the shower and then i'll do a real scrub as well like a really deep with the mittens exfoliating scrub and then all the tan just melts off your skin that's like the best way to describe it it doesn't become like sticky i don't know if anyone else finds this, but you know sometimes when you scrub your tan and like it's still quite patchy some bits scrub off really well but some bits don't scrub off well this is a great way of just making sure that you melt the tan away and you don't have to really be abrasive on your skin because there's nothing worse than that so i'll scrub it all off um and then depending on whether i am fake tanning that night i will either moisturize and just leave my skin to breathe for like a day and then the next day i'll do another little scrubby tan and fake tan or i will straight up fake tan afterwards so i think i might actually just leave my skin to breathe tonight and then i'll refake tan tomorrow and then i'll have a new fresh layer of fake tan ready for ibiza so that i am completely ready and glowy for when we go so i'm gonna go take off my makeup get into the shower and scrub off my fake tan and i will check back in with you guys ready for our flight ready to go to ibiza i might do a bit of a fly with me because i know that there's been loads of questions about how we're kind of feeling about um the airports at the moment if you don't know a lot of the airports are very very busy it seems that a lot of the airports are short staffed at the moment and so like security queues checking queues are very very long so it'll be interesting to see what it's like i did try to book us um fast track like fast passes to go through security completely sold out not a chance so um we're just gonna have to make sure that we arrive at the airport quite a few hours before our flight to make sure that there are no issues getting through security that if we do have to wait in queue for a couple of hours that we are not stressed or rushed or anything like that so i will check back in with you guys when we are ready to fly good morning everyone it is flying day travel day heading to ibiza i am so so excited i've woken up in the best mood this morning the sun is shining as well which is actually so nice at first we were like oh how typical that we're leaving literally as the uk is having a heat wave the uk is having a gorgeous week of sunshine and we're actually saying goodbye to like 25 28 degree heat and saying hello to 40 degree heat in ibiza which we were both looking to like but can't really complain because we're going to Ibiza and we literally have all morning been singing hey we're going to Ibiza <laughs> we're so so excited you can see behind me I've got my suitcases all packed and ready to go of course I'm going to be using my antler cases which are honestly just the best things in the entire world this is the Stanford I believe um in this is actually called khaki green but it's definitely not khaki green I feel like it's more of like a in between like a sage and a forest it's a really really lovely green color but i've got my biggest one which is definitely unnecessary for like a four day trip for anyone normally um you could definitely get away with using the mid-size one but obviously because it's a work trip i'm shooting i've got lots of things planned i've got my big one 
And then this one is actually just completely full of work stuff. So like my laptop, my camera equipment, all the things that I need um, for shooting and filming, um, which I just want to make sure that it's always on my person. So that's why that I just like put it in a separate one. So I don't really need any of this stuff. I also will always take with me spare underwear, spare pajamas, just in case anything happens to the big case because I have been caught out in the past. Um, so I always just keep spare things in here as well. And then I also just have my basket bag, which is from the Straw Basket Company. It's such a cute one. It's got my initials engraved in um, and it's just got all the things that I need to find. My iPad, my passport, um, just my little toiletries bag, which I always put some like, you know, painkillers in as well, just in case. I've got hand sanitizer, lipstick, perfume, um, and then, ooh, oh my goodness, falling over everything that I need. Ooh, also, one thing I always take with me is an eye mask, um, which just in case I need a nap on the plane is so, so helpful to have. So that is cases all packed and ready to go and I'm of course wearing the Bowden dress that I said I was going to wear. I absolutely love this. I feel like I look really sophisticated but I'm still super comfortable. I was actually saying to Alex, I remember when I was little and I used to see like women at the airport in like dresses like this and I used to think oh they have their bish together and I feel like I look like I have my bish together having matching cases, a beautiful dress and heading to the airport. So we're going to be leaving in a second. I just have to pack up like some coffees for the journey and like a little bit of a snack bag. Um, because it is a fair drive we're going to Stansted um, which is about two hours from us um, but I'm hoping I've heard good things about Stansted Airport obviously there's been lots of issues with like Heathrow with Gatwick places like that Stansted I've not really heard anything bad about I've heard a couple of people that went from there recently and they said they had no problem and because our flight is later on in the afternoon I'm hoping that will also help because I've heard that most of the queues are like first thing in the morning but we're not going to be risking anything. We're aiming to get to the airport about three, nearly four hours early just to make sure that we're giving ourselves plenty of time. But I'd much rather give ourselves plenty of time and sit, have a coffee, maybe do a bit of shopping, have a little look around duty free and make sure that we're not stressing or rushing because the queues at the moment are just absolutely insane. And as I said, I didn't manage to get fast passes. So we've booked the parking from about midday onwards so that we can arrive as early as we need to um, and then do whatever needs to do to get through security. So this is me ready to go, ready to fly off to Ibiza. A journey two hours later we just arrived at Stansted now um, you're looking for the green yeah. short stay green just trying to find our meet and greet for our parking um, and then we'll be in and I'm just keeping every finger toe and every limb possible crossed that there's not gonna be too much of a queue when we get in so that we can just go straight through grab some nice lunch have a sit down and chill okay so we've just arrived and there doesn't seem to be too much of a queue um, it's moving pretty quickly but they've got a lot of check-in desks open we have arrived how many hours early three three hours before the flight um, and our check-in desk has literally just opened our um, bag drop desk um, but let me kind of see if I can show you the queue so it's kind of it's snaking around a fair amount but I don't think it's going to take too long so hopefully we'll be able to grab a quick lunch before our flight and just be able to sit and relax for a little bit because this definitely is moving like we're not even standing still like everyone's kind of constantly walking around so it's not too bad at all actually <laughs> of just how painless that was. We went to security and it literally took us like 10 minutes to get through. It was no, like more than a normal, like whenever you go to the airport. I've heard so many horror stories of people saying it's taking them like three or four hours to get through security. But it was absolutely fine. I feel like they really do have like the staff here, um, especially like Jet to have all their own staff, like you know, where their checking bags were. Um, so that was all going like really, really quickly. Everyone's getting their bags quickly yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the security had loads of lanes open so you literally were waiting for like five minutes for your lane to open get your bags in get all your stuff sorted and straight through none of us speak because we are experts the guy was like any laptops any ipads i was like get out um so yes we were straight through really really quick so i think we're going to go and have some lunch over here at itsu which very very excited about definitely one of my favorite places i must say in terms of like restaurants they don't really have that many like big restaurants like you know how at Gatwick and Heathrow they have 
really big like chains and like proper sit down meal and stuff like that. They don't seem to have that as much here. It's been a really, really long time since we've both been out of Stansted because it's quite far for us. Um, so I think it must have been pre-COVID last time I threw out as Dan said. Um, so yeah, but they have lots of little, like, they've got spoons, they've got, like, you know, prep, Starbucks, Itsu, and they've also got lots of shops here. So I think we're going to have a little bit of a wander around, have a little bit of a shop, see what takes our fancy, because we've got a lot of time to go. It's about two and a half hours till we're going to have to start, like, heading towards our gates. So we've got a lot of time to go, so we're going to grab some lunch and do a little bit of shopping. <laughs> So I'm going to leave this vlog here. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next video.